Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. First, I want to say thanks to all those who've supported me through my first build. Almost through my first build. So there have been many who have said, I wish I could have been there at the beginning. Well, this is your chance. This is the first video in this series. In this video series, I'm going to break it out into different segments. So this segment type, I'm going to call the designer series. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time to kind of go over some plans, um, ask you guys for some suggestions. So some of you may ask why. Well, in the past, I've always just kind of jumped in and let you guys watch me struggle through it. It feels a little like this. This is a contest where contestants try to reach the goal, the bottom of the hill, as quickly as possible. Not unlike the contestants, I will frequently stumble as I try to reach my goal. So this will allow me to think and plan and more importantly, get feedback before I make any mistakes. Believe it or not, I do like to have kind of a detailed plan. I have noticed that many of my mistakes and poor decisions kind of could have been avoided just by uh, asking for some help. I do think this gives a, a really unique opportunity to the viewers. So most of the time you guys get to sit back and watch. Um, this is one where you'll actually get to participate. So what I want from you is comments. I want you to guide me to the best decision. In this way, I think it'll be a lot like um, a forum where there'll be lots of comments, there'll be dialogues going back and forth to kind of help everyone understand what the best solution is. I will likely weight the comments of subscribers higher than those who aren't subscribed because I feel like they've got a little more invested. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So here's what I will do. I will review the comments and try and formulate the best plan. I can't accommodate all comments, um, but I'll do my best. There is a tried and true method on YouTube that will get you tons of subscribers, millions of views. Here's what it is. You get a wrecked or dirty car that's highly desirable and you rebuild it. Maybe do an engine swap add a few accent pieces, throw some color on there, and bam, in just a few months, you got something that just looks amazing. We're not gonna do that. I am an idiot. So I'm not gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna do something a little different. So let me tell you a little bit about what's driving my decisions. So the channel is called Electric Supercar, so it will be another electric supercar. So some of my favorite parts of this build were when I was making the rear fenders. So the track width was quite a bit wider than what this kit car was designed for. And I had to kind of make some custom fenders. And it was just such a unique and fun process. So I really just loved kind of that creative process and um, really just kind of forming something that's unique. So just really love the creation aspect. So that will be a big part of what we're doing. So things that I didn't like, I don't want to say I didn't like, that I didn't find quite as rewarding. So I'd say spending a lot of time and effort on things that typically we take for granted. So things like windshield wipers. Um, I spent weeks on that. Uh, the trunk, um, getting things to open, close, latch. Again, just took a long time. And so it really makes you appreciate kind of good cars and how they just work and you don't even think about it. Even things like the door locks took tons of time. They probably still don't work as good as something that was made in the 1980s. Here are what I see as some of my options. So you could do an electric conversion. So you take a car like a Mustang, a C10 pickup, and you essentially swap out the motor and you know a couple electrical systems. And then you've got kind of a running working car. It's a lot faster than what I've done here. And you kind of have a lot of the modern conveniences because the car was already kind of working and running, windshield wipers were going, door locks were going. Um, the other option is you kind of do a build from scratch. This is kind of closer to this one. You get that creative part that I'm really wanting, but um, you also have to kind of suffer through just trunks and door locks and windshield wipers. So what I want to do is I want to do a hybrid approach. So my plan is to get, I'm going to call it the cockpit of a modern car. So you have things like six speaker stereo system, AC, heat, um, seat adjustments, power windows, auto dimming lights, push start, 
maybe even some safety features like anti-lock brakes, airbags, windshield wipers, all those modern conveniences. You know, the things that people would really expect out of a modern car. So my plan is to get the cockpit, but then design my own body around it. This also means that there are interchangeable parts. So if I need to replace a windshield, a door lock, um, tail light, things like that, um, things already exist. So again, my plan is to kind of take, I'll call it the cockpit of a modern car and create kind of a unique, one of a kind car, killer looks, great performance. That's the plan. So my goals are to have it be lightweight, great performance, I'm thinking all wheel drive, and for cost similar or less than this one. So call it $50,000 or less. My first decision point is the cockpit. So what car to use? So here's kind of some of the basic criteria that I think. I think it should be two door. I think it's gotta be small and sporty looking, lightweight and have most of the modern conveniences. Ideally, it would be readily available. You know, again, lots of people would have something similar, so it'd be easy to get. And I was thinking it could even be a salvage car because I'm planning to kind of redo most of the exterior. I am looking for your comments. Please load them up below. Some of the ones that come to my mind, the Super BRZ, maybe something like Mazda Miata. Um, I was even thinking like Porsche Cayman. So again, I'll probably look at the interiors. Again, I'll comb through the comments. Uh, ideally, again, it would be small, two-door, lightweight, and I could use a lot of the components. So let me know in the comments what cars I should be considering. Next is drivetrain. So I'm looking for killer performance. Um, I really am wanting to do all-wheel drive. My first thought uh, is Tesla, just because I've done that before. You could do the Tesla Model S, kind of front and rear motor new Model 3. Um, they make controllers for that now as well. But I know there's a lot of other electric motors out there. So tell me some of your thoughts on which motors I should use, how many motors I should use. Again, this is the fun part, kind of getting to decide all these fun things. I'm also looking for some suggestions on the battery. So to get the killer performance, say we went with Model 3 or something. If we also chose the Model 3 battery pack, Essentially, we're just building a Model 3, so we're not going to have improved performance over that. So I'm thinking that we may want a lighter battery pack than something like that. But all things are on the table, so let me know your thoughts. So this one's got a 32 kilowatt hour pack, um, something like that, or even a little bit larger range, you know, longer range would be nice. I'm also checking out things like DC fast charging. Um, again, I think this is very exciting. So tell me some of your thoughts about batteries. So I've been doing a little bit of CAD modeling just with uh, some things I found online and just, again, trying to enjoy the process. Here's a quick glimpse of some modeling I did. I think one other crucial thing is um, call it headlights and taillights. Um, I think they can greatly influence kind of the design and look of the car. So that's one of the things I want to look at uh, pretty early on. So let me know your thoughts for best headlights and taillights to use. So that's gonna do it for the first video in this series. This is the first designer video where I'm asking you guys to help figure out what I should do. Please load up those comments, and if you haven't already, subscribe. See you next week.